Who reads this stuff? It's like a car crash, isn't it? You can't not look. If facts are stranger than fiction, and these stories are fiction, then what are the facts behind them? Well, the truth is, you just wouldn't read about it. So get this, headline, all eyes on the ear collector. Only the flash has exclusive photos of the man police have under surveillance as their prime suspect in the brutal ear collector killings that plagued the city three years ago. And how guilty does he look? Don't you read the papers? That girl that turned up dead three days ago on the side of the Hume Highway, the cops confirmed that she'd had her ears cut off. The ear collector's back and your man here is in the clear. Falsely accused. Only the Flash has exclusive uh. photos of... <sighs> Just a sec. Jane. Walter, I'm up in Wilson Bay. I've got something you're gonna love. She's getting hitched again. Are you sure it's her? Yep. You're gonna pay me, right? Yes. I could go to 200. 300? You're not back on the smack, are you? No, I just said... Okay, I've got to go. Flip side. Forget about the ear collector. This is a better story. This Misha Bird killed her husband, strangled him to death. That's a hubby under the sheet. They were into B&D fantasy stuff. Sick shit. He'd beat her, and she'd fight back and choke him. Well, here you know, he choked his chicken. And she didn't even get charged. All consensual, apparently. Anyway, this source of mine says... What source? It wasn't that Jane, was it? No, it's not her. It's just this mate of mine who lives up north. Anyway, she's in the local pub, and who happens to be sitting behind her but the merry widow herself. So get this, my source, she hears this Misha Sparkle talking to some bloke about a honeymoon. She's getting married again. What's she gonna do to this husband? You've got to be choking. Sexy strangler seeks second silly spouse. Only the Flash has exclusive photos of the brave new bridegroom. I think strangler could be a bit strong. But get yourself up there and get me something before deadline. Could you be the new Mr. Sparkle? You're a bit old, aren't you? Kinky marries wrinkly. That'll sell. Bloody delivery, man. You've got to be kidding me. <sighs> Pierce. Wyla. How's the Merry Widow? Yeah, it's coming along great, mate. Got some good shots? Well, not yet. What do you mean? Uh, don't worry, I'm on her. You've only got two days, Wilder. OK, OK. Flip side. Fuck it. Hi, it's Jane. I'm either out or out of it. Leave a message. <sighs> Jane, it's Wilder. Listen, I've been at this chick's place all day and there's no sign of any bloke. Just call me.
Oh, Misha, you're just too good to me. How's it going? Hello. Can I help you? The sign? I was after a place to stay. Oh, you put out a couple of hours ago. It's amazing. Meant to be, obviously. I just got up from the city this morning. I was going to be around for a week or so. I'm sorry. It's not really a holiday rental. I was kind of looking for something a little more permanent. Oh, I could pay, like, 200 for the week. We'll make it 300 it's still a better deal for me than staying in town, and we're here, I get the peace and quiet I'm after. Then after the week, you can put your sign back up. Well, you want to see the room first? Yeah. You don't smoke, do you? Nah. Filthy habit. Misha. Andrew. Pleased to meet you. What have we got here? Homemade lemonade, plenty of ice. Cheers. Cheers. Welcome. Mm. <sighs> this place is a little slice of heaven. You been here long? Coming on three years now. Just you? Just me. What about you? I mean, are you, are you on holiday, or...? Well, I've been living a bit of the gypsy life. You know, Travelling here and there, just me and the road. Um... Well, kind of... I'm writing a novel. Is that right? Good for you. Can I ask what it's about? Well, it's about an IT worker. And that's what I did up till last month. And he gets divorced. And that's what I did just before Christmas. And then he hits the road in search of some kind of meaning. Well, in search of something. So it's just a little bit autobiographical. <laughs> Maybe you could write me in as a cameo. Okay, honey, get some dinner. You want some? Oh, no, don't go to any trouble on my account. I can just as easily go on account and grab a burger or something. Oh, no, please stay. Grilling four chops is just as easy as grilling two. Mmm, this is the best lamb I've ever had. Thanks for marinades one of my dad's secret recipes. That's absolutely delicious. Dad's an amazing chef. He used to have a restaurant in town, but he's retired now. Now he's just my cooking teacher. I'm sorry, I just need to nip into town and I was I was hoping I could use your car. Um I, I know it's a big ass, but my car's still in the shop. I uh, know that that's that's fine. Um the keys are in the ignition. Oh thanks. Do, do you need anything? No, no, I, I'm fine, thanks. Okay. See you later. Bye.
He must be dead. I don't suppose you guys have seen a bloke around here practicing his wedding vows, have you? No. Didn't think so. Bingo. Jane, it's Wilder, again. Listen, I'm at this chick's house and there's no sign of any bloke. If you stiff me out of 250 just to get off your chops, I swear I'm gonna... Call me. Ah. The bloke's domain. Hey. I got some beers in the bag. Do you grab them? Who are they for? You. Hi. So I think it was you. Oh. Excellent. All right, that's perfect. Okay. See you then, Dad. Well, that was delicious. Another one of your dad's famous recipes? Indeed it is. There's plenty more where that came from. Can I ask you a personal question? As long as my answer doesn't end up in that book of yours. Scout's honor. No. <laughs> I was, was just wondering why a sexy sort like yourself Why she hasn't got a ring on her finger? Ah, uh, hey, I'm I'm sorry. Um, my husband died in an accident three years ago. Ah, oh. me and my big mouth. No, it's fine. It's fine. It just took a little while to deal with. <clears throat> Lately, I've realised that I have a life to live. And, um, that it's possible for me to meet someone that shares my interests. Mm. Well, that's it for me. I 
I don't want to have a hangover tomorrow. Not when there's a acre of lawn to mow. Uh, mowing? Yeah, I've got an old ride on in the shed, but it's still a pain. Or well, maybe I could mow your lawns for you. As a thank you for the cooking. Don't be silly. You got a novel to write. Uh, can you hold on a minute? Um, excuse me. Uh, it's my ex. I might take it outside. Piers. How's the story going? Mate, I'm not so sure. Look, there's no sign of any bloke here. The only man in her life seems to be her dad. I think we're way off track here. What's this we business? It was your story idea, lad. I know. I know. Look, I still think there's something here. An interview with her, exclusive, about you know, life after tragedy. I'm just going to need more time. What are you talking about? I have to pluck this week's cover story out of thin air? i got to go. I'll call you tomorrow. Angus Wilder, isn't it? Your little friend had a lot to say about you before she had problems hearing our questions. I know you're on a deadline. Seizure exclusive. This is my fiance, Bill. And he's the only man since my husband that shared my interest. No! No! 